Hey everybody, Kenny Malcolm here. I've got a second recipe for you this week for Appetizer Week. And this one is a real fun one. I call it Penelope's Polynesian Pork and Pineapple Pot Stickers. I know I love to have my tongue twisters and I just had to throw that one in there this week. But it's very, very simple. It's uh, just a few simple ingredients to put these together. Uh, to start with, I have some sausage that I bought pre-cooked in the little one ounce patties. And I've got eight of those and I chopped them up. So you want to put that in a bowl. I have one can of crushed pineapple that I've drained really, really well. Now you want to drain it completely so your pot stickers are not going to be mushy when you cook them. So you want a whole can of that drained. Put that in there. And I have an 8 ounce block of Philadelphia cream cheese that has been softened to room temperature. Now I didn't think about this until I started making this recipe and, and setting up to cook it this morning. But you know, you could use an 8 ounce container of your Philadelphia pineapple cream cheese for this. That would be fabulous instead, instead of using the block. But any one you want to use will be just fine. Set these out of the way. Okay. Now, you, what you want to do is just cream this all together. It's just your three ingredients. Your cooked sausage, your pre-cooked sausage, your crushed pineapple, and your Philadelphia cream cheese. And just take the time to cream this together really, really well before you start to stuff your wontons. Mix this together really, really easy if your cream cheese is very, very soft. Or if you're using it out of a tub, you don't even have to soften it. here. Now what I'm going to do is take my wonton wrapper. Now you get these in your refrigerator section of your grocery store. They just come in little squares like this. It's just a little pasta wrapper. Now I like to lay out several in a row to get started. I'll try to do four for y'all today to show you how it's done. And they're sticking together just a tad. Alright, you want to take two small spoons and get you a good rounded teaspoonful of filling. You don't want too much or your wontons will come open when you're cooking. But you want a good mouthful of that Philadelphia cream cheese in there. So put your little dollop in the middle of each one of your wonton wrappers. Make sure you get a little bit of your sausage and your Philadelphia cream cheese and your crushed pineapple in every bite. Then you're going to take your little water and a pastry brush, or you can just use your finger if you don't have a pastry brush, and you're going to brush all four sides of your wonton. Get it nice and damp. Now that's going to make your wonton wrapper stick together so your filling doesn't come out when you're cooking them. You're going to take your two opposite corners and press them together. Then you're going to take your two sides and press them up towards the center. And when you do that, you want to make sure you take your fingers and press your seams all the way around so your filling is nice and enclosed in your wonton wrapper. Isn't that cute? Now that's what you're going to do with all the rest of your wontons. And I'm going to go ahead and do those for you. And then when I come back, I'm going to show you how you cook them. It only takes less than 10 minutes to cook these and then you're ready to eat. So when I come back, I'm going to show you how that's done. Okay, guys, let me tell you what I've done. I went ahead and finished making up my pot stickers. Then I got me a non-stick skillet and I heated up two tablespoons of oil in it over high heat until the oil was shimmering. Then I lowered the heat down to medium. I put in my pot stickers and I let them brown on the bottom for about two minutes. And you can see how nice and this is how crispy they are on the bottom. That's exactly what you want. It only takes about two minutes. At that point, I took three quarters of a cup of boiling water that I heated up in the microwave and I got my lid ready because when you add water and oil together you know it's going to splatter on you. So get your lid ready in one hand and your water in the other, pour it in real quick, cover it up. That's it. Let them steam for 10 minutes until they're nice and tender and soft. Then you're going to take the lid back off and cook it for about another minute longer just to crisp up the bottoms one more time. And there you've got it. Penelope's Polynesian Pork and Pineapple Pot Stickers. And you can see I've got me a little Asian dish here that I'm going to serve them on. And now what I like to serve mine with, you can just have a soy dipping sauce or I like to use just the 
regular jar hoisin sauce that you can get in your Asian market off, straight off the shelf. It's kind of like an Asian barbecue sauce. And it's really, really good with these. I'm going to see if I can taste this here for you. I'm not too good with these, these things, but I'm going to give it a try. Give me a little bit of dipping sauce on there. Mmm. That's not how crispy. Mm-mm-mm. See the creamy Philadelphia cream cheese in there and your sausage and your pineapple? Oh gosh, y'all that is so good. Y'all got to give these a try. And let me know what you think, ladies. Bye now.